Hello. In this video, I'm going to really quickly show you how fillets and chamfers work in Onshape. You can use these to add a nice finish to corners on your model. Now, I've already made a simple, boring little staircase looking thing here just to show you how fillets and chamfers work because a staircase has a lot of corners on it. So what I'm gonna do is first I'll select the fillet feature up here. And what you do with this is pretty much just click on a corner and Onshape will round it off for you. And that's pretty much it. You can tell it that, oh, I want slightly different cross sections. Like it starts off with a circle, but I can tell it to make a, a conic, a parabola instead. Sort of like that. You can tell if you look real closely that's not quite a circle, that's a parabola. Most of the time you'll just want to stick with circular. And you can make the radius bigger if you want the corner to be more rounded. And you can make it smaller if you want it to be sharper. And you can do this on the inside's corners as well. So let's say I want this to be rounded in here too. I can just click on this corner. And there, now it'll kind of, instead of taking material away, it'll add a little bit in there to make that nice and round. My names are probably going to start slipping here as I keep adding more and more and more fillets and chamfers. And then chamfer is really similar. You just pick that, and you can chamfer an edge, and it just chops a little bit off like that. And you can make this distance bigger to make it cut off more material, or less material and make the edge sharper. I'll make this one really sharp. And you can change the distances a little bit too. Like say I want it to be a little asymmetric. I want it to be different than a 45 degree angle. I can make it go in farther on the top or farther on the bottom, I guess. And you can switch those around easily. I'll just make this one equal distance. And just like fillets, you can do that on the inside too. So I'll get this one here. And if you, this can get a little bit boring if you want to do a whole bunch of edges all at the same time. Like, so let's say I want to do this whole, I want all the edges, all the corners on the side of this staircase here. I want those all to be rounded off. So you can also pick fillet and say, I want to fillet this whole face, this whole side of the staircase. I can just click on that and it'll go clunk, 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 clunk along all of the edges and fillet them all for me. So that can be a real time saver. And the same thing with chamfers on the other side here. Oh, oh, it doesn't like chamfering this rounded edge here. Oh, I've got to pick a side that doesn't have any fillets on it so I can, because you can't really chamfer a rounded edge. I can chamfer this one though, that's easy. And there's a little bit, there's a few more advanced things that you can do with this. Oh, and you see it did skip chamfering this one here because it was already filleted. So that's about all I have to show you. There's a few more things about fillets and chamfers to figure out, but you already pretty much know what you need to get by. 
and you can figure out a lot of the rest of it on your own. Fillets and chamfers are useful a lot of times not just to make your part look nicer, but you can also strengthen it too by strategically on ins by using these inside fillets and chamfers. You can add material at a strategic spot in your part and make it a little bit stronger, and that can be especially important with 3D printing. So I hope you find that helpful. You go out and make your parts look nice and be nice and strong with fillets and chamfers.